Now we're going to look at using logarithms to solve the exponential equation. So apply the logarithm of, or it probably should be to both sides of the equation. And then if one of the terms in the equation has a base 10, use a common log. If none of the terms um, in the equation has base 10, use natural log and then use the rules of logarithms to solve the, for the unknown. It will, and using base 10 or natural log, really, I mean, it's because it's, on, it's what's on our calculator versus, uh, like I, I mentioned in a previous video, if you let's watch that, uh, my TI-84, my newest one, does have the ability to change the base, but we also have to change the base formula. But the easiest thing, I think, it's still quicker for me probably just to put it in, do the natural log with change of base than to use to go in and find that button on my calculator. Okay, uh, so here we go. Let's solve this one. And so this is not a base 10, so following what this, these steps say, we could take the natural log of 5 to the x plus 2 equals natural log of 4 squared. And now with, sorry, that was supposed to be 4 to the x. Let me change that. I just... As a typo let's change this to an x so i will change this to an x okay so these powers will come out front so we have x plus 2 times natural log of 5 equals x times natural log of 4. now the point i want to get across here natural log of 5 is just a number and natural log of 4 is just a number so these aren't variables. The variables we have are the x in each case. So I'm going to distribute here. So x times natural log of 5 plus 2 times natural log of 5 equals x times natural log of 4. So if we want to get our x terms to one side, you know, it's just like solving a regular equation. Get our x terms to one side. And then we have... Um, minus 2 natural log of 5 get our constants to the other other side minus 2 natural log of 5 and what that's going to give us is x natural log of 5 minus 4 sorry x natural log of 4 equals negative 2 natural log of 5 so I'm going to bring it up here I can factor the x out then I have natural log of 5 minus natural log of 4 equals negative 2 natural log of 5. Now, if you remember our rules for, for logarithms, that can be combined. So it's x times natural log of 5 fourths equals negative 2. And by the way, I can make that a power here. So let's do that. Let's make that a natural log of 5 to the negative 2. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have x natural log of 5 fourths equals natural log of, that's a negative 2, by the way, uh, natural log of 1 over 25. We can divide by natural log of 5 fourths. And we have x equals the natural log of 1 25th over the natural log of 5 fourths. That's the exact value. Um, I would also have taken, <laughs> so there's that, natural, negative 2 natural log of 5 over natural log of 5 minus natural log of 4. That's the equivalent answer. Okay. So how do we solve for y equals a e to the kt for t? So we can divide both sides. We want to get the t by itself. We divide both sides by a. Apply the natural logarithm of both sides. The equation, why natural log? Well, one reason is because it's the base e and natural log is base e. Divide both sides by the equation of the equation by k. So here I'm going to divide by 20. So 5 equals e to the 2t. So natural log of 5 equals natural log of e to the 2t, and these cancel. So natural log of 5 equals 2t, and we can divide by the 2. 
So t is natural log of 5 over 2. Uh, you could take it one step further if you're really uh, industrious and say t equals 1 half natural log of 5 so that this becomes a power. So it becomes natural log of the square root of 5. So these are both acceptable answers. Okay, let's try the next one. So same thing here. We're going to subtract a 5 off. And we have 4 e to the 2x equals 7. We can divide by 4. So e to the 2x equals 7 fourths. And then I want to take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of e to the 2x equals natural log of 7 fourths. And that cancels. So 2x is natural log of 7 fourths divided by 2. x equals 1 half natural log of 7 fourths. And I guess if you want to bring that as a power, natural log of 7 fourths to the 1 half power, or natural log of the square root of 7 fourths, or <laughs> natural log of the square root of 7 over 2. These all are the same thing. So here's an answer. Here's an answer. These are all equivalent answers. That's a 2 there. Sloppy 2. Okay. Let's see. Now let's talk about extraneous solutions. That's a solution that works for a modified version of the equation, but not for the original equation. So solve the quadratic like equation. So you can treat this as e to the 2x minus e to the, I think it should be x. Let me check my original. Yeah, that should be an x there. E to the 2x minus e to the x equals 56. Let's subtract the 56, get 0. So that's quadratic like to where we could say u equals e to the x. So this becomes u squared minus u minus 56 equals 0. So we can factor u minus 8 times u minus 7 equals 0. u minus 8 equals 0 means u equals 8. u minus 7 or plus 7 equals 0. That's a plus 7. Plus 7 equals 0 means u equals negative 7. What was u? It's e to the x. So e to the x equals 8. So natural log of e to the x is natural log of 8, where x equals the natural log of 8. And then e to the x equals negative 7. So natural log of e to the x is natural log of negative 7. Well, that poses a problem because you can't take a natural log of a negative. So that one has no solution. So the only solution is this natural log of 8. So that's x equals e to the x equals at negative 7. Uh, natural log of negative 7, that would be an extraneous solution. So the only solution is this uh, x equals natural log of 8. Okay, and that'll do it for this video.